we just left on our cruise around uh, Norwegian, uh, heading to Alaska. Um, it's kind of noisy out here because there's people talking, and uh, but we just left our port. Hopefully, we'll find some gold in Alaska. I have high hopes. Um, we've got some places to gold pan and uh, things like that, but it's just going to be an awesome trip. I mean, look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got a little speck in my pan there, so. Got a couple specks in there. It's right there where my finger is. So, yeah. Yeah, those look cool. Seems like I got about four colors in there. So, it's a good pan. Happy with that. And this is beautiful though. All these mountains. It's just awesome. to get um, all the material that I can out of this uh, big rock crack mainly because you know there's a lot of gold that um, gets trapped under these big rocks so I'm just trying to get all that sediment in the pan here to so that we can pan it and see what's what we got so. I think in this ground it's easier just not to use a classifier. Let's go pan this out and uh, see what we got. back here in the um, outbacks of Juneau, Alaska. 
and um, we're viewing this glacier over here as you can see and they said that there's been a lot of melting here so you want to be very very careful but um, isn't this just such a beautiful sight just to see all of this nature and just to be in spite of this I mean it's just amazing you know I mean I even see people paddle boarding out here and it's just very very amazing this will probably be one of the only times I get to do this trip, but it's just such an amazing place. I'm glad to be able to share it with you. Just to be here in this nature is just so beautiful. Um, just a lot of wildlife here that's very cool to see. So I'm very excited to um, get back and see what I got with my gold. But you know, th just the nature here is simply breathtaking. So. Now I'm here in uh, Skagway, Alaska, and uh, there actually wasn't many uh, places to gold pan so I decided to uh, just try at this store over here and I've got two right there but but I also do metal detecting and, oh yeah yeah and stuff like that find civil war relics and things wow, like that wow I have a friend in Oregon that does a lot of that you find you can't believe some of the stuff you told me oh yeah for sure yeah, that is awesome thank you for showing us that It's very beautiful out here. Y'all can see the river over there. You, you don't pan that because there's. They said there's not really any gold. I think there might be. You know, they just might be saying that, but they still don't let you pan in it. They give you test pans and stuff, but see the dredge over there. This is an old dredge that they have. It's very very cool. It's big. Big dredge, look at that. That's awesome. Very cool. And up to that uh, tall part over there of that landslide to get some dirt um, to pan. Y'all can hear the train. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll find some gold in it. I'm gonna pan it out at this waterfall over near here, so we'll see. got gold right there I just saw that cave over there wonder if anyone's in it <laughs> but isn't this just beautiful
guys, it's Steps of History here, and I'm back at the cruise. I just wanted to do a recap on uh, some of my finds. Um, based on these weights here, um, I did go to the um, panning like demonstration and stuff like that that they had in there, and then we got to pan for some gold. And uh, the material that we got was um, already kind of like mined out of a mine. Um, and so the material was already mined out, but they didn't guarantee gold. So it's basically like you're basically finding it yourself. So I mean, I basically call it my finds, but from the um, gold fields, I got 1.7 grains at a value of $13.28. And the gold that I found down at that creek, and um, I did a little bit at another place, but I got four grains at a value of $31.25. So I think at that creek, I did very, very well. But I just wanted to show you my uh, total take for um, the trip. I can see the gold right there. There's a lot of chunky nuggets in there. Well, like just chunkier pieces, I guess you would call them. Let's see if I can get it. That, isn't that just awesome though that the gold's been there for all that time and then I found it near that creek it's just so cool so total value was about I think 50 bucks which I didn't even pay that much for tours I only paid like 10 bucks for a tour so um, that was from the tour and then there was a little bit from the creek from there and then some from another place I went to um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to give you all a recap on what I found, and I found three garnets. Um, I can show pictures of those, but that's my take from Alaska, y'all. Um, this trip was mainly just family time and seeing nature and everything, but it was good to get out and, you know, do some treasure hunting, so that's awesome, guys, and I hope you liked the video, and um, if you did like it, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Um, I... I work hard to do these videos, and I hope y'all like them. Uh, Depths of History t-shirts are now available, so go check those out and see if you uh, would like to buy one. I had them all in my episode today, so y'all can get a little glimpse of them. But um, yeah, I hope y'all like the video, and uh, always keep your coil to the soil and keep on digging, and we'll see you at the next video. Good luck and happy hunting.